follow this setup guide for the Audio-Technica ATUC discussion system. First, unbox all the Goosenet microphones. Make sure the microphones are all equipped with a foam windscreen at the top of the microphone. Do make sure to keep these windscreens in good order and prevent it from being squashed. Do not clean the windscreens with any alcohol such as isopropyl. Clean it with alcohol-free wet wipes. Next, find and prepare two long network cables. These network cables are labeled with port A as well as port B. Next, unbox the ATUC central unit. Connect port A cable to the back of the ATUC central unit. Connect the connector into DU port A. Connect the other cable labeled port B into DU port B. Unbox the delegate unit and identify the first unit as well as the last unit. With the first unit, turn it around and identify the network ports. Connect the cable labeled DU port A to the connector of the delegate unit. Any of the ports will work. These cables are a little bit stiff. Do use your hands and push it firmly into the network ports. You will actually hear a click sound. And then to make it easier for the next cable, push the first cable to the side as seen. Next, identify the last unit, turn it around, connect the other cable labeled DU port B, and then connect this cable into the last unit's network port. Again, these cables are very stiff, push it in with force, or you can push the connector until you hear a click sound. Any of the ports selected will work. Next. Identify all the short network cables and pick any of the cables and connect it into the last unit's second port. After clicking in both the RJ45 network cables, slide the cables into the groove together and these cables will then be neatly bent and prepared. Take another short network cable and plug it into the first unit. Connect it into the second port available. Again, slide the two cables into the groove, making them parallel and turn it all around and prepare your network cables accordingly. Next, take out all the other units, all the other delegate units and connect them in sequence. Using all the short network cables connected, Connect them in sequence from unit 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. You could also start with the last unit. With the last unit, find the next unit before it, and you can connect it at the same time. This connection method is called daisy chain connection, where all the units are interlinked together with a network cable. Connect up all units from the first unit to the last unit. Connect the gooseneck mics into all the delegate units. Notice the three pin connectors. This is an XR connection. Notice the delegate units are also a 3 pin connection. Line the 3 pins up and insert it. Once you insert it, you'll hear a click sound. Continue to the next unit and connect up all the gooseneck microphones. Remember to hear the click sound. Adjust the gooseneck mic and angle it to face near the person speaking. Next, power up the central unit. Locate the power cable and connect the 3-pin power cable to the central unit. 
At the back of the central unit, connect one end of the IEC cable into the right side of the central unit. Then connect the 3 pin power to the nearby power socket. Once it's connected, it's time to power up the central unit. Push in the power button and the central unit will power up. Give it a minute or so for the system to boot up. When the system is actually booting up, you will actually notice the delegate units are lighted up. But at this point, they are still flashing in red lights. This is just the boot up sequence. Do notice that the delegate units will be flashing in red. This is just the boot up sequence. The buttons will flash as well as the LED rings on the microphone will flash in red. Once the central unit is fully powered up, look at the delegate unit. It will show FL. This is the correct setting. You might also see a blank screen with just one red dot and this is the right setting. To speak into the delegate system, push the wrong button and talk. Push the button again to mute the microphone. The push to talk button as well as the LED ring on the microphone will light up. When speaking, voice will also come out of the little speakers on the delegate units. When more than 10 microphones are on, other microphones will not be able to turn on. From the 11th unit onwards, the microphones are queuing to talk. Do notice the lights flashing when this happens. To set up recording, select an audio cable labeled Output 1. Connect it to the back of the central unit. Insert the green connector into the central unit. Connect it to input 01. To prepare for an audio recording, unbox your USB audio interface. Connect the XR audio cable into input 1. This is the XR connector which is 3 pin. Align it up and insert it. You will hear a click sound. Next, adjust the gain level of the audio signal going in. The default setting for input 1 is fully anti-clockwise. You can also connect headphones to either port 1 or port 2. This will let you monitor the live recording as well as the playback. Launch your audio recording software and refer to the recording guide to find out how to use the software. To make changes to the ATUC system, identify the blue network cable labeled AT laptop. Connect the blue network cable to the back of the central unit. Connect it to the network port only and do not connect it to any other network port. Connect the other end of the blue network cable to the administrator laptop. Once connected, launch any web browser to access the central unit setup. Type in the IP address of the central unit. To identify the IP address, access the settings menu on the front page. Using the rotating knob to navigate, push in to enter and push back to go back one page. Scroll down to administrator, select, scroll down to system info, select system info, and scroll down to IP address. Click in and the IP address will be revealed. Note down the address indicated on the central unit. Then type in this IP address of the central unit into your web browser. Press enter to access the settings page of the central unit. Log in as administrator and then you are ready to set up. To find out more how to do it, refer to the setup guide on the PDF. Once the meeting is done, power off the central unit first. Disconnect the Gustang microphones. There is actually a square button next to the microphone. Push it in and pull out the Gustang microphone. Unplug all network cables as well. And you are done.